All the discharges of synchronous or parallel counters within one microcircuit switch simultaneously. As the result of that, the total shift hesitation of a synchronous counter roughly equals to the delay of one by stable. That means synchronous counters are much faster than asynchronous ones, and their speed doesn't fall with an increase in the number of charges. The speed of synchronous counters with asynchronous carry falls between the speed values of asynchronous and fully synchronous counters. The time chart of a four discharge synchronous counter with asynchronous carry shows that the discharges are simultaneously switched over the positive edge of the input signal with a certain delay. The negative carry signal also has a delay relative to the negative input impulse. That means, in this case, the shift hesitation of a multi-bit counter increases with each new microcircuit, rather than with each new discharge. Binary decimal counter, i.e. 6, and binary counter, i.e. 7, can serve as examples of synchronous counters with asynchronous carry. Both the counters are bidirectional and can do direct and reverse counting. It is possible to reset the counter to zero with the help of a positive signal at input R. There is also the parallel recording function. You can record code from inputs D1, D2, D4 and D8 with the help of the negative signal at input WR. Counters IE7 and IE6 can be connected in order to increase their capacity. To do so, connect the carry outputs of the low-order counters producing low-order carry bits with the inverted inputs of the high-order counters producing high-order carry bits. Synchronous counters with asynchronous carry are wonderful output signal frequency dividers. They have a relatively high response speed and are quite easy to control. Another advantage is the reverse counting function. Using these counters you can build frequency dividers with a division factor that can be randomly changed with the help of entry code. This type of frequency dividers are widely used in analog digital systems working with analog signals of various frequencies. A common task is to form a packet of input impulses with a set of number of impulses. For example, it is necessary in order to organize information exchange in a serial code. This type of impulse packet former can be built with the help of synchronous counters with a synchronous carry. A former of time intervals with the length set by external code can be easily built on such counters. This type of formers is widely used in various meters. Counters are also popular in different input signal period meters. They count the impulses of a quartz clock oscillator within the duration of an input signal. After the input signal stops, the counter retains a code. The code is proportional to the period of the signal. This type of counter is used in sequential switching or scanning of several devices, blocks, indicators, transmission channels, etc. For instance, there is a group of devices. For some reason they should not work simultaneously, but rather in turns. So, in a particular period of time, only one device should be active. The cycle repeats itself, and after the last device is turned off, the first one starts working again. In all of these cases, polling, switching and scanning can, can be carried out by a counter with a necessary number of discharges. A counter with a number of discharges equal to n can be used for the number of devices equal to 2 power n. Synchronous counters with a synchronous carry have many applications. We have only spoken about some of the most typical cases.